Hey guys, Julie here. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I hope my screen share is showing the right screen. The last time I tried to do a screen share, it showed the wrong one for some reason. But anyways, um, so Kim Brancato every year posts this amazing uh, checklist for moms. And it's basically like a checklist for things to do with your kids for the summer. So yesterday she posted it and um, posted it in a blog. And I was on my phone, and I've been super into Pinterest lately, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. But um, I went to repin it from my phone, and there was no pin it button on it. So on my computer, if you guys can look right up here, right under where it says bookmarks and windows, you will see my pin it button that I have installed on my um, dashboard up here. So I can pin easily from my computer if somebody doesn't have a pin it button. But I don't have that option on my phone. So... Um, the reason that I really got into Pinterest in the first place is because I started noticing a ton of my um, hits on my Facebook page or on my, on my website were from Pinterest and they were from recipes and things that I was pinning. And so I started doing that more with my new website as well. And you can see wine slushies was my, is my number one post right now, and that's all coming from Pinterest. Um, my balsamic vinaigrette dressing is coming from Pinterest. This strawberry chocolate recipe is coming from Pinterest. And um, right now, it's gonna take a little bit, like my other website is, my old website is predominantly people coming from Pinterest um, because I have so many shares on things. Uh, but this page, because I'm just building it up and it's pretty new, it's still a lot from Facebook, but Pinterest is definitely on the list and getting up there. Um, so I want to show you how to add your Pinterest button if you're using Weebly. I love Weebly, by the way. It's so easy. It's literally drag and drop. It's like the easiest thing ever to do. So yesterday I did a blog on 35 things every woman should do this summer. So I'm going to open up this one. And... You can't really see it right now, but this right here is my Pinterest button. For some reason, there's like a tweak with Weebly and they haven't been showing up um, here, but if you open up this, this is what it looks like. So when somebody opens this or when they open it on their phone, um, they're gonna see the pin it button and you can hit save. For some reason, they also changed repin to save because I was like, why are people saving my pins but nobody's repinning? I realized it was the same thing. So anyways, what you're gonna do for that is you're gonna take this embedded code, you are going to drag, I'm gonna do it below just so I don't confuse myself. So you're gonna drag the embedded code down here and what you need to do is add the Pinterest button. So what you can do is you can Google um, widget and I'm trying to think of exactly how it was worded. I think I Googled like business Pinterest pin or something like that. Anyways, I ended up saving it to my dashboard, so I didn't have to do that every time. So right here, this widget builder, widget builder for business, I just click on that. You can do one image, any image. You can do it so it hovers over an image. You can do all of these that you can add onto your um, website. What I do is I do any image, and I always post it um, above the very first photo. So click on any image. This right here, copy and paste this code into your page where you want it to appear. You're going to copy and paste that. You are going to go back to your Weebly where you set the custom HTML, put it in there, and then that's it. Usually it used to show up and you would actually see it. Like I said, I don't know why it's not now. Um, also, once per blog, you need to have this code right here. So what I did for that is, okay, let me delete this. Oh, and then when you hit publish, It'll, it'll publish like I just showed you. Um, so what you need to do for that is I put it over here. It's actually this right here, same thing where it didn't really show up. And I did the exact same thing. I took embedded code, dragged the embedded code over to this corner. I added the code that I needed to from Pinterest, hit publish and update. And then that way, when I go to my pins, this pin is going to show up um, right here, and people are going to be able to pin it easily from their website. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have a website, blogging has been huge, um, especially when you blog and pin everything back to Pinterest because you get a ton of shares. Actually, you know what? Let me pull up my Pinterest, and I can show you guys. 
Some of these are like ridiculous. Okay, so on my profile, I have um, all kinds of different topics. I have my Project Babe, I've got Pisces, I've got my style, I've got like fun hair colors, I've got some Shakeology recipes, makeup, Jeeps, like I literally have like all kinds of topics on here. And it's a great way for me to be able to use Pinterest, but it's also a way for me to be able to show other people who I am and kind of like form my niche from that. So my vegetarian 21 day fix recipes go crazy. Um, this wine slushy one right here has 89 shares and I just posted it a couple weeks ago. Where are my nutso ones? Here we go. This, this is the protein brownie bite one, 42,000 shares. So that means 42,000 people have pinned this somewhere on their Pinterest and every time somebody clicks on it, it links it back to my website. This salad dressing right here has gotten 1.4 thousand shares. This sushi one got 4,000 shares. So it's really, really um, helped to draw people back to my back to my like page uh, or back to my website. And then on my website, I also have there's a pop up that pops up to um, as an email collector when people first get on my website. And then a lot of people, I think don't have enough time to like go through your website and actually get to know you and get a feel for you. So I also have these, I have the sign up here for your girlfriend's guide. And so basically that the, they can click on these on the side and um, also get signed up. And then also in my about section at the very bottom, same thing. So somebody would click on that and it would bring them to this sign up page and they're just going to subscribe to my mailing list. So that way I get them on my mailing list as well. So the goal is every time somebody um, share something from Pinterest, they click back, end up on my website, end up on my mailing list. So I hope that helps, and um, super simple, super easy to do, and each blog you would need to do the new pin button. So I hope that helps, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.